Now, I've recently started a new series on WordPress alternatives, tools that you can use to build websites that don't rely upon WordPress. One that I've taken a look at very recently is called Web Studio. It's a kind of web flow alternative, but it's open source, which is a really good thing. If you want to check out the video on that, you can take a look here. Now, one of the things that I've been using myself for quite some time now is Core Framework. This helps me use a CSS framework to speed up my design process in bricks, and it's all around just incredibly useful. Well, Web Studio recently released an update where you can now start using CSS variables, and you can copy and paste variables into the editor. So this made me think, can we use the online tool inside Core Framework to be able to create and generate our overall CSS framework and then use that inside Web Studio. Well, let's take a look and see if we can. So we hop over to the Core Framework site. You can see we've got the option for opening the web app. You will need to sign up for an account, but there's no cost to this. You can have five projects on you. And it doesn't cost you a single penny. So I've already got this basic test one. We're going to open this inside the editor. And I'm not going to worry about setting things up, but you can see I've got some primary colors, my brand in background colors, typography, spacing, and so on. So what we can do is, once we've made changes and set up everything the way we like it, we can hit Save Changes, preview the CSS, and then we can see all of the CSS inside you. Now, you could export this, copy it, copy the minified version, whatever you want. The most important thing is to make sure you only take the actual variables that you need. So let's say we'll grab a couple of values from you. Let's come down and say we'll grab things like the radius and the shadows and so on. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to simply copy all these values inside the curly brackets making sure that I don't accidentally take the root from the top. So I'm literally just grabbing the variables. I'll copy those, so we'll Control or Command C to copy. We'll head over into Web Studio and we'll create a new project. We'll just call this Core Framework. Create the project, and we now have the project ready for us. So what we need to do now is take those variables that we've copied and use them inside here to do that. We're going to choose global root, which is where we then have access to all of the variables we're going to use. Come over to the right hand side, scroll down until we get to the advanced section, click the plus, and then inside the styles, we're simply do control or command V to paste what we've copied. This will put all of them inside there. Hit the enter or return, and now all of those values have been added in. So you can see we've got the spacing, button spacing, card spacing, and so on. You've also see we've got all our colors, including all the shades and everything that are set up as part of it. And now we can start to use these. So let's go and take a really simple example. Let's choose our body from here, and we'll come in and add in a box. We'll choose our box, and we'll just add in some values here. So we'll put a little bit of margin and so on around it. There we go, and a little bit of padding inside there. There we go, just so you can see what I'm doing. So now what we can do is we can simply come down to the background color, and we can start typing in. So we'll say primary, for example. And look, there's all of our variables from Core Framework for our primary values. So now I can choose primary, or I can choose one of my transparent shades, or lighter shades, or darker shades, whatever it is. Click to add it in. Then if we've got things like the radius and so on, and I'm not sure if I actually copied these, but if we have, we'll take a look. So for example, we'll come to the radius section under borders, and inside there, we'll just do radius. There we go, we've got a radius. Choose, let's go for large, just so you can see it. Boom, you can see now we've started using those core framework variables to be able to style this. Now, obviously, you can set things up in style sources and connect these up and do all kinds of things that you want to kind of have those tokens and everything you can do as part of working with Web Studio. But what this does is this allows us to take the benefits of using a framework like Core Framework, grab the values as we've customized it, load them directly into our project as part of Web Studio, and then we can take advantage of all those options where we're building and designing. It's pretty cool, and it's incredibly simple. And like I say, you can use the free version of Core Framework, cost you no money, and get advantage of all these options. Check it out for yourself. The link to everything is down in the description down below. But as always, let me know your thoughts in the comments section. My name is Paul C. This is WP Tuts, and until next time, take care. Thank you.